How's it going, everyone? So, people might wonder how I go about designing an over Unity device. How do I get this thing to be perfect from design to completion? So, um, you know, it's all designed right now in my mind. I literally see this device. Not a joke. And you get to this level once you've achieved, you know, a correct understanding of these things. Well, of, of energy just in general. But um, they didn't teach us the correct understanding, so a lot of people are confused. I totally understand. You know, that's 15 years of my life. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. So, how do I design this? This is a Over Unity Builders instructional video. Uh, on how you would go about the ratios, the wires, the designing, everything of this. Okay, number one, I know that uh, using this ZVS, um, around 30 volts coming out of here, give or take. Now, this could be different. I never did measure it when it's operating because it's really hard to do. Um, I'd have to scope that and then get the peak to peak and then figure all that crap out. And, and really, I don't care. <laughs> I know that I'm applying 30 volts to that, so we're going to count that at like 30 volts a turn. If it ends up being 90 volts a turn, great. Um, because of the gain of pi, which is 2.7 or 2.27 something. I don't know. Anyways, all the numbers, who the fuck cares? What you do is you take, you select two gauges of wire. I know I want to have a three-turn primary. That's what I've decided in my mind this device is going to require for me to get what I want out of it. So, three turns. Then I pick a wire and I'm like, well, I could go 10 gauge, I could go 12 gauge, I could go 14 gauge. What do I want to go with? Well... Because it's a low turn count coil, this is a tinned, multi-stranded, high strand count wire, high, high quality silicone wire, high temperature, high everything. Now these things could get hot too, by the way, so you might want to submerge these two bars in a tub of water, and then you've got a water heater on top of it. We won't even go there yet till I build the damn thing. First, right now... Uh, we're going to show you how I engineer this thing to start with. I picked the primary. Uh, I've decided 10 gauge. The length of the wire at this moment doesn't matter. It's the width of the wire we're working on because we're working with a limited core section. And I want to get as many turns on the secondary. I want to know where to stop my secondary winding because everything here is determined by the secondary. The first thing you do is this. You know, find out how many turns you want to whatever kind of ratio you want. I want lots of amps banging in here, making a big strong magnetic field, giving me about 10 volts per turn of what I'm applying. So if I end up, if that, if this circuit in resonance is operating at 90 volts in the tank, great. That means I have 30 volts a turn instead of 10 volts a turn. So you see what I'm saying? Anyways, that's not really important. What is, is pick your wire gauge, 10 gauge I picked. It could be any wires you want. Next ones, I, I pick 10, I got a whole damn roll of it, right? You know, 400 bucks or 300 bucks right there for that roll. It's just outrageous. Probably more now. I bought that almost a year or six months ago. Time just flies. All right, this I bought, I don't know how damn long ago. Over a year, a year and a half ago. Hardly even used any of it. Haven't really got to that yet because it's for this. <laughs> here we are. So here it is. So uh, 18 gauge, right? So now I'm going to take and wind my secondary. I'm going to start from here. This is going to stay on the core. That I just put it on there to find out how far three turns comes up the core so I know where to stop this winding. This goes on. It just gets dry wound for now uh, to get the length because I have to take it off of here after I've wound this thing full and uh, g given my six inch leads or however long the leads I want probably six inches it's pretty easy to work with and um, then I'm going to measure that piece of wire that filled that core to get the actual length to calculate the length of this and the harmonic that it's going to be operating at okay so uh, there you go builders have at it have a great day